The most important part of the Paycheck Protection Program loan is assuring that it's forgivable. You must comply with authorized expenditure rules, tracing rules, and workforce retention rules to assure that it's completely forgiven. If the proceeds of the PPP loan are not traced directly to allowable expenses, but were actually used for unauthorized purposes such as the employer portion of payroll taxes or other business expenses, the PPP loan will not be forgiven. It will be a 1% interest loan payable over two years, not what you intended. Eventually, all borrowers must submit to their bank and the SBA documentation verifying employees on payroll, pay rates, covered costs, proof of payment, and a certificate from a business representative to have the PPP loan forgiven. Forgiveness is based entirely on how well we substantiate compliance with all the technical rules. This firm will submit your documentation to the bank, including payroll records, timing of payroll, proof of payment of allowable payroll, rent and mortgage interest expenses, and a certificate to get your PPP loan entirely forgiven. We will assure that the information submitted does not include payments for qualified sick leave wages, which a credit is allowed under the Families First Act. We'll assure that it does not include qualified family leave wages, for which a credit is allowed under 7003 of the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. And we will assure that it does not include payments to independent contractors, as those independent contractors are able to get their own PPP loan. The most common mistakes include using the Paycheck Protection Program loan proceeds for the employer portion of Social Security and FICA taxes, principal payments on mortgages, payments on mortgages incurred after February 15, 2020, and commingling the PPP loan proceeds with your general business bank account. Another problem is that the amount forgiven will be reduced for any employee cuts or reductions based on a complex workforce retention formula. They want to keep your full-time equivalent employees retained. For the PPP loan to be forgiven, there are workforce retention requirements. The computation compares a baseline of your average full-time equivalent employees during the current eight-week period to create a percentage of full-time equivalent employees retained. Careful planning may include rehiring your workforce to cure the default. However, it must be done by June 30th. There are many ways so that you don't have to keep the same employees, but you must retain a full-time equivalent employee count. We will assure that any individual employee's pay that has been reduced by more than 25% does not affect your full-time equivalent employee count, or we will resolve the issue through proper business planning. We will run the computations of full-time equivalent employees to assure that your entire PPP loan is forgiven. The debt forgiveness is excluded from gross income and is not considered taxable under the cancellation of indebtedness rules. Therefore, it's truly free money, if done right. Please call me at 858-481-4844 and I'd be happy to talk to you about your particular case. I look forward to hearing from you.